guys. Okay, so chapter four. Something that I read at the beginning of chapter four that I really liked was about keeping it simple. Um, as educators, we like to keep things complex. Or just as humans, we like to overthink things. So sometimes getting your point across um, as a teacher, the best thing to do is just keep it simple. So the four main things that we have talked about in this chapter, location, conditioning, connections, and spatial reasoning, um, starting with location, um, the best way to um, teach, I think, I there's a lot of ways, but um, one main way is to relate things to the student's life so that they can make the connection that way. Um, so location, you could spatially relate things to a school or to like a familiar landmark. So let's say you're trying to um, relate where the park is. So the park is like five miles from the school, something like that. Um, or the United States, we're this far from Africa, so on. Um, condition. A good tool for conditioning is reference maps because reference maps um, basically map out everything arranged in that particular area. Um, there was an example for Matic maps. Um, but yeah, the best way to learn the condition of that area could be a reference map, like the mall. If you go to a mall, you can figure out where everything is, where everything is lined up, and what categories, like let's say you're looking for shoes, you can find that in the directory and then make your way to whatever shoe store you want to go to. Um, connections. Um, if you bring in, like, where do pencils come from? Then you have to explain the process. They come from a factory, and the factory... Um, transport the transports them by vehicle or plane or so that's the way that you link things from this factory was over here and now they had to bring that pencil to us wherever we are so making that connection that link um, spatial reasoning um, can relate like history to um, the space that you're you know, trying to teach, um, like when the first 13 colonies of the United States, um, you can show a map that um, relates that. So that history subject relates to the map because you can show the 13 colonies. I don't, when I was in school and whenever we were talking about history, usually the teacher always pulled up a map to better um, emphasize what we were focusing on. So history and geography go hand in hand a lot. Um, and 